All right, guys, we've got a big CGC unboxing here. Buku dollars in this box. If you're a Spidey fan, you definitely want to stick around for this one. All right, guys, we are going to get to this unboxing as well as the cover price sales data. But if you could please hit that subscription button along with that notification bell, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this unboxing. Um, I think these were economy tier, so I think I insured these for about $1,000 a piece. I don't remember how many books were in here, but I do remember four of the books because I have two of two different types. So two different types of books in here at least, and each one has two. Makes four. I said that way more confusing than I had to. Anyway, let's get right into this. That was confusing. Words, words are hard. All right, here we go. One, two, five. Ooh, five books. And I see something bad. Take a lesson from me, kitties. Take a lesson from me. I'm going to pull this one out first. I am very bad at this. Very bad at this. Here is an Amazing Spider-Man 129 with two panels cut out of page 10. Does not affect story. Considered incomplete. Green label. Qualified grade. An incomplete book here. Check your books, guys. Look through them. Check. Some coupons get cut out. Panels get cut out. Marvel value stamps get cut out. Uh, this is one I rarely see get cut out but uh nonetheless it did and the grade 4.5 white pages not bad um this is going to be a tricky one to price out because you don't see stuff like this too too often especially in this book so we'll see i have to do a little digging on this one but again amazing spider-man 129 first appearance of punisher big time amazing spider-man book huge bronze key one of the big three in my personal opinion i always think hulk 181 uh, 181, Giant Size X-Men, and Amazing Spider-Man 129 are the big bronze keys. But I'll be honest, Hulk 181, Giant Size X-Men are now in a whole nother stratosphere. So, uh, hey, check your books, guys. Check your books. All right, now I've got another one of these, and I only see blue labels. So we'll see which one, uh, we'll see what I grab. Ooh, Amazing Spider-Man 14. I forgot I all I did custom labels, but they don't do custom labels when stuff like that happens. I wonder if I got my five dollars back. I should check. Anyway, um, this is the first appearance of Green Goblin. Going to be hanging on to this. Missing the bottom corner here. It's fine. You don't need that. That's you don't need it. Uh, the grade though, three point five without the bottom corner. It does look white pages too. What? Uh, I gotta say, it does look good. It it looks every bit of a 3.5. I almost want to say, if that corner wasn't missing down here by the Hulk, um, I'd almost say it was a four or a four five. Love the label, love the grade. Super happy about this. This one's not going anywhere for a while. I'm uh, investing in shares of Norman Osborn and the Green Goblin, so that one's sticking around. So I do know what books are remaining. Another Amazing Spider-Man 129, which here she is. Amazing Spider-Man 129. You see all that terrible color run on there. Uh, not as much on the back, but you do see it. Here is the grade. Four or five off white to white pages. Looks a little similar, huh? I don't know. Which one would you rather have? The one with all the blue or the one missing uh, some stuff? I'd rather take the blue. But 4.5 blue label. Off white to white pages. Love the Spidey. Love the Spidey labels. All right, two left. They are the same book. Maybe you've seen this book before. Maybe you're aware of just how hot it is. And maybe I'm thinking of the one. Oh, yeah. Ultimate Fallout 4. I did the Miles label on this one. Man, I sometimes I, I get myself sometimes. Completely forgot about all this. Ultimate Fallout 4. This is the first appearance of Miles Morales. It says poly bag removed on the back, which is, uh, you know, instead of putting all the notes here, they're on the back. Same with those. Um, what do we got here? 9.2 white pages. Okay, that's fine. I definitely did not suspect 9.8s on this or the other one. I do remember the collection that this came out of. And if I remember, I will put it 
in the description below. So if you guys want to see where these books came from, you can. I do like the Miles label. Um, looks really good. It looks pretty good with this book, I got to say. Looks good. All right, so I do have another one of these left. And again, I do not believe it is a 9.8. I'm going to look at that one a little closer too. Again, Ultimate Fallout 4 with that Miles Morales label. Um, not a 9.8, is it? Oh, a 9.6 though. That's the next best thing. That's fantastic. All right. Again, first appearance of Miles Morales. You guys know how hot this book is. And I'm going to prove it to you in a second because what I'm going to do is get the cover price sales data on these books. I'm going to have to do some digging to figure out the uh, the 4.5 green label, but we'll figure it out. We'll put some kind of data up there for you. And uh, right, nothing else? Nope. That's it. All right. Let's get that data. All right, guys, I crunched those cover price numbers and I have the sales data. Let's start with Ultimate Fallout 4 in that 9.2. You're looking at a range between $565 and $850 in these recent sales. This book is not slowing down. If Miles shows up in the MCU, I have no idea what could happen to this book. Uh, awesome character. Tons, tons, tons of fans of Miles. Uh, I feel like there's still room on this book, and I can't believe I'm even saying it because this book I was selling raw just a few years ago for like $20 a piece. And that's what it was going like. I, crazy, crazy. Uh, that 9.6 though, takes a little bit of a jump. Uh, those sales are somewhere between 1,000 and 1,325. So somewhere in that $1,200 to $1,300 range. And that's for a CGC nine, well, for a 9.6. Obviously you have to add $5 for that custom label, obviously. Uh, let's go with those Amazing Spider-Man 129s. Let's talk about that green label first. Incomplete book, but still came in at a 4.5. Not a tremendous amount of data on that because it doesn't happen too often. But the last sale that I could find was in July of 2020. So almost a year ago, let's say, what, nine months ago. Uh, and that sold for 500 bucks. So with the way the market's going, at what, maybe 650, 700 for that book now? Maybe seven fifty, maybe I don't know. Uh, but we have sales for a four point five blue label. Now it was selling for about eleven hundred dollars, but just recently, <laughs> two thousand one hundred and ninety five dollars sale. This book in a four point five now over two thousand dollars. I need to see a little more consistency to believe that. Um, maybe a couple more sales, but man, if this thing starts hitting two thousand dollars in a four or five, I don't know what 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 the limit is on this book. I mean, come on, we're talking a mid grade bronze book. All right, uh, now let's slide into that ASM fourteen, that first Green Goblin, a book that I'm investing in, a book I'm holding on to, along with that first Norman Osborn. Uh, this book. There's sales everywhere here in this grade, and it, it makes a jump. So January and February, between the two months, it's averaging about $1,400, just January and February, right, of 2021. But in April of 2021, we had sales of $2,660 for a 3.5. This book, I think, has room. This one is, of all of these, this may have the most room. And I know that's crazy to even say because the miles... Uh, if he does show up in the MCU, but Green Goblin, Norman Osborn, maybe the ASM villain, the biggest villain, what, between him and probably Doc Ock, uh, watch out for this book. I'm super excited about this. Um, I loved, I liked the Spidey unboxings. I like doing the Spidey keys. So that's it for this, guys. Let me know what you, what you think down below. I am going to put the collection video down below where the uh, Ultimate Fallouts came out of, and one of the ASM 129s actually came out of. I just don't know which one, because I didn't open the book, because I'm, I'm a dumb person. I'm just, I should have opened the book. Oh, well. Uh, thank you for everything. I appreciate it, and as always, keep it comics.